Just let me say to you I cannot wait to see you You are the treasure I've been waiting for Do you know, do you know How much I really need you I they pray for the day when I can finally kiss you You know say every day I pray for you That's why my heart is a bit like do do pay, do do pay. Cause now you I choose so oh, I am very unfair. I sing for you and I be like do do pay, do do pay. Baby now you I go pick up oh, I am very unfair. But there we go. See I may not give the word to you, but I'll give you what I have. Oh. That's why my heart is a bit like do do pay do do pay. Cause now you I choose oh, I am your family and your friend. I sing for you and I be like do do pay do do pay. Baby now you I go pick up oh, I am your family and your friend. Only for you it a bit like do do pay do pay. Oh, 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 oh. I sing for you oh, my baby oh. oh, oh, oh.
Well, good afternoon, everybody. Um, uh, to all of you who are here in this house today, I just want to say karibuni, karibuni sana, na santeni sana kwa kufika. It is my great pleasure and honor to thank all of you, each and every one of you who has made it to this house today. And uh, let me start by introducing myself to those that may not know me. Uh, my name is Nicole Odinga, aka Pamela Akot, or oh, you can call me Furaha's mom, you can call me Giselle's mom, you can call me BK, aka Basil <laughs> Kenneth's mom, you can call me Noel Ocheng Raila's mom, or you can also call me Malia's mom, or better still, you can call me Mama Watoto. And very soon, probably another name or new name, Grandma. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Sounds interesting to say that. Anyway, um, I just thought it well for me to record this today. Um, right now here in the United States is about 8.30 at night. And uh, I'm assuming it's about around 2 a.m. over there but by the time you're going to be listening to this video it's probably gonna be in the afternoon so I wanna say delightfully good afternoon to each and every person in this house I am super delighted and happy to be to I mean I'm privileged to have this honor to be able to even speak to you all like this you just don't have an idea of how grateful and happy I am that you all have come here to be here for for her. I know it was a surprise. She's probably cried, or if not cried, she's probably laughed. Oh, but I know that she's happy that everybody is here. So to you, Furaha, surprise! <laughs> anyway. So I have a little something that I wrote here that I'm probably going to read. It's obviously something that's in my mind and something that I know that I could easily say, but I prefer to write it down so that I was sure not to leave anything out. And so if you allow me a few minutes or a few seconds, I'm going to read it to you and uh, then we may all just uh, then I guess the next agenda will be Giselle can open us up with a word of prayer and uh, we move forward from there. Okay, so here's my letter. Mainly is to Furaha, but it's also to everybody who has come today to share this special moment with her. Okay, so here I start. So good afternoon, everybody. I want to start off by appreciating each and every one in this room today. There would be no occasion without your presence. Thank you. Having said that, I want to take the opportunity to talk a little bit about the lady of this occasion, and that's my firstborn daughter, Margaret Furaha. When I, um, that's Margaret Furaha. Well, I also named her after my beloved mama, Mrs. Margaret Akini Agola Odinga. May mama soul rest in peace, but may her spirit rejoice here today with us at the celebration and welcoming of her first great grandbaby, AKA the Luo people say, Doklohunda. So my mom, this would be my mom's first Doklohunda if she were here today. But unfortunately, she's gone to rest with the Lord and I believe that this day she's gonna be here in this house. When I say this house, I mean that house <laughs> celebrating with us. When I first learned that I was pregnant with Margaret, I had mixed feelings and reactions. And the reason for this was because I had just lost my firstborn baby. Yeah, I had a boy who was called Troy Agola he passed away unfortunately um, 
we took a, those some of you might know the story but we just took an, a bean seed went to the lungs and unfortunately he passed on uh, when he was only a year and a half so having furaha in my stomach at that time was a traumatizing at the same time joyous you know i was joyful and i was also traumatized i was mourning my son and i was also celebrating the little baby that i was having in my stomach of which i had no idea at the time i i wanted a boy so badly but i also said to god that what, uh, whichever kind of baby you give me i'm going to embrace that baby and love that baby accordingly anyway back to my writing Mm. Okay, so when I first learned that I was pregnant by Margaret, I had mixed feelings and reactions. And the reason for this was because I had just lost my firstborn baby, Troy. Troy, may he, and uh, so may his little and beautiful soul rest in peace. I was so traumatized and really wanted a replacement of a son. But God's will was way too different than mine. At first, I really never wanted to know what gender my baby would be, even though deep down I was hoping for a boy. But my curiosity drove me to go and have a scan done and revealed that I would be having a bouncing baby girl. Wow. I can never forget the joy in my heart when the doctor told me that I was carrying a little baby girl. I was so excited and at the same time traumatized you know so i had all these mixed feelings or mixed emotions if you will that i could not hold back because the first name that came to my mind was that of my mother margaret long story short <laughs> june first came and it was a day to bring my mother margaret into the world this happens to be Madaraka Day 2, one of the most exciting days of my life. The moment she came and I heard her cry, when I heard her first cry, I was so overwhelmed with emotions. I cried so much as I thanked my Lord for blessing me with another bouncing and most precious and beautiful baby girl. That joy never left me to date. Now today, I celebrate and embrace my daughter's firstborn baby. Could be a boy, or could be a girl. It's all good. All I pray for is a healthy, bouncing baby. May the Almighty God protect both mother and child. My, predict my prediction, brother, my prediction is that he or she will be the most adorable, beautiful, handsome stroke beautiful baby of the year and i say so because just take a look at at the mother look at furaha where she's sitting right now isn't she beautiful i think she is she is beautiful my darling daughter furaha this is to you you are now officially joining the mother's group please open your eyes and heart for love and protection among many, my child. Being a first-time mom is not always easy. It comes with challenges. But I'm, hope, I'm happy that you have people in this room today that are mothers and love you and will be there for you. They are your aunties, your friends, but above all, you know, you always have me, your mother. Even though I am not physically there, you will always count. You can always count on me, Mama. Okay. I know your baby will also have some very young, young but loving aunties like Malia. Oh my God, Malia is gonna be an aunt. How awesome is that? You know. <laughs> so Malia. Then there is Uncle Noel. A.K.A. Barbie. <laughs> then there's Uncle Basil. And of course, not forgetting Auntie Giselle. <laughs> who will love and adore him or her. So with these few remarks, 
Yeah, a few indeed. I guess I've written a whole book. <laughs> I now close by telling you that I love you, Mama, and may God protect both you and the baby to term. And may I get to see and hold my very first grandbaby. So, Granny Atochua, a.k.a. Josephine Aoko, and Granny Maureen Kojoko, I will be calling you all for advice on how to be a young grandma. Watch out. Okay. Love you all. And, um, and I thank you for being here today. You all are special to me and certainly special to Furaha. A special thank you to Vanessa for all the running around she did to ensure all is well. I thank you all for your contributions and gifts and may God bless you all. And shout out to the photographer. That's my photographer Josiah. So if you guys want any photography taken, any video, that's the man. I met this guy in uh, Gigi. And I think his pictures are the best and videos are the one most wonderful videos I've ever seen. So shout out to all of you and cheers to the baby. I can't wait for the reveal. Oh, by the way, I'm Team Blue. I they pray for the day when I can finally kiss you. You know, say every day I they pray for you. Oh, in my heart today is a permanent place for you. That's why my heart is a bit like do do pray do do pray. Cause now you are true so.
Hey 